given what we saw from the Fed, but then from the jobs numbers, what is what do we make of the economy right now and where it's headed? Well, clearly inflation is still high and uh, Fed is still has concerns around that. And um, this the latest job numbers still indicate that there is more slowing down to do. However, what's happening with the regional banking crisis, I think that will help in this effort, but there's still more work to be done as inflation is not quite there. And also the slowdown is not at a pace that we would want it to be in the current environment. Uh, so what about you, Savita? Uh, we heard about a possible pause maybe on Wednesday. Is that still viable after the jobs numbers we saw on Friday? I mean, look, I think we're in a data dependent environment and the data so far is suggesting we're probably not going to see that rate cut that everybody is hoping for by the end of the, you know, in, in the next couple of quarters. I mean, our, our view is that re inflation might remain stickier and higher for the, the rest of the year. I mean, if you look at jobs, a big part of the, the tight labor market is, is just the great resignation during COVID. And those folks haven't come back yet. So, you know, I think it, it remains tight in, in certain parts of the economy. So, Savita, let's talk about the equity markets. You are one of our 24 L's, I'm delighted <laughs> to say. Thank you for being here. And you're sort of in the middle of the pack, $400 on the EPS and uh, 4,000. 200, 200 on the EPS and 4,000 on the, on the S&P 500. Yes. Are you inclined to change that at all, given what we saw this week? <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at right in the middle of the, the consensus elf, I guess. <laughs> um, well, I think we're a little lower than, than consensus on earnings. And I think if anything, I would be inclined to move that higher after what we've heard over the last few weeks. I mean, what really impresses me about earnings season is that guidance has been very positive, despite every reason that companies have to guide down on this year's earnings or next year's earnings, they're actually guiding above what consensus is expecting. So I was surprised by that optimism. We're also seeing beats across the board, um, not just in you know technology stocks, but also in financials and healthcare. So it's been a very healthy earnings season relative to what, what folks were expecting coming into it. Um, I think on the market itself, what I worry about is that it's still very tech top heavy. And that's the part of the market that I'm actually more um, concerned about from a, a rate risk perspective. Ellen, what about tech? Tech had been a leader for a long time, then it sort of gave up leadership. Who's going to lead now? I mean, we believe in the next cycle with you know, themes like energy transition and more automation and um, energy infrastructure build and onshoring. We think industrials will be more at the head of market leadership as we are hearing not only in the U.S. but also in Europe of continuous capex plans because of the change that's needed to get us to the next era. And again, with interest rates where they are, you know, if we believe the zero rate interest rates are not bad, the biggest beneficiaries of that actually resided in the tech sector, and we don't think that will come back. And therefore, we believe in, in sectors like industrials and energy will lead the next rally. So, Vita, you've been talking about capital investment as well. Yeah. And really what that might mean for productivity down the road. Very bullish on CapEx. And I think that's bullish longer term, although unfortunately you don't typically see productivity gains immediately. It takes a couple of years. I think there's a lot of really positive trends taking place in the market. You've got efficiency. Um, you know, I, I, we did a word count on the word efficiency during transcripts, and it was like through the roof. Everybody's talking about getting more efficient. And they have reasons to get more efficient because we're no longer in this zero interest rate environment where all you need to grow earnings is you know buying back shares I think we're we're past that point where the easy money from earnings uh, you know margins and globalization that's behind us but we're now in an environment where we could see healthier earnings growth from actually getting more efficient so I think that was what I came away with this you know over the last couple of weeks companies are doing exactly what they should be doing they're dealing with higher costs trying to preserve margins by getting more efficient yeah, exactly particularly when you don't have as many workers to go around. You have to get more efficient. Exactly. Don't you? <laughs> Automation is a big theme right now.